Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. So if you are following the channel closely, you know that I've been playing Starfield a lot. And I've been playing on the PC and on the Steam Deck. But I really prefer to play it on the Steam Deck because um, I just get more game time out of it. And But uh, there's a problem because the Steam Deck doesn't perform very well for this game. It, this game is pretty demanding and it doesn't run very well. But there's a mod. So today I'd like to share with you. I've... I've just installed the mod and I'm in a killer city now. So I'm in a city. Normally I'd run into the teens, like like below 20 FPS. So with this mod, uh, I did get a performance boost. Um, and yeah, I think I can get better performance boost if I used um, different settings. But um, I didn't want to go too low on my on my graphics. So if you take a look, uh, I'm using um, uh, dynamic resolution off and then uh, render resolution at 50% and then um, film grain intensity zero and uh, motion blur off and then all the rest is on low. Um, and yeah, on the Steam Deck it looks pretty good. Even on, on the monitor it looks okay. Uh, if I... If I play on the deck, uh, on the on the uh, seven inch screen, it's a lot better. But uh, because I'm recording for you guys, uh, it's not as good. But yeah. So if you're playing mo mostly handheld, yeah, I think you should use this mod. So yeah, normally in a killer, I'm like below twenty. So yeah, so I've got a performance boost here. So let's go to another city. Let's go to New Atlantis. I think everyone. Likes to test that city out. Let's go to New Atlantis. So, okay, Alpha Centauri. And then New Atlantis. All right. Let's land in New Atlantis. And let's see the performance. Okay. Okay, so we're at the port. We're at the port. So this city runs a little bit better than new uh, than Aquila. I think it has less lighting and and a little bit like the people aren't as dense. So yeah, here we're getting like mid twenties. Even with like more people. So yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty good. So if you're playing on the Steam Deck, definitely check out this mod. Alright, let's uh, go into a little bit of detail. I won't go into details. It's not a hard install, but I'll just give you some guidelines. I'll leave a link in the description on how uh, where to download this mod. So let's go to um, desktop mode first. Let's go to desktop mode. And then, okay, let's go to history. Okay, so this is the mod. It's called Steam Deck Essentials, um, FPES and QOL, quality of life, I guess. Uh, I don't think there's much quality of life improvements, but yeah, whatever. So description, so uh, yeah, I'm not gonna go through a description. There's th three files. There's three main files you need to download. So in the main files, this one, SD Essentials, 40 FPS, UI, SD Essentials, INI Tweaks, and VRAM. So once you've downloaded those three folders, once you download those three folders, uh, let's take a look at them. So the first one, 40 FPS. So it's copy the contents of this, of the old, don't copy don't just drag this directory into the game folder you need to drag the contents inside the starfield directory so this data so let's say so i've got a non-steam version of the game so it's a little bit trickier 
I need to open Proton Tricks, and then it, my game is inside this folder, 36480, somewhere here. So I need to go into my my uh, home, and then make sure the top three lines is, uh, you click here, and then make sure the show hidden files, this is checked. I need to go inside dot steam, steam, um, steam apps, compact data, and then I need to locate that folder. Three six four eight zero. Three six four eight zero. Okay. Three six. Okay. This one. This is where my uh, prefix folder is. So go inside C drive and then Starfield. So this is my game folder. So don't just drag Starfield directory in. Drag the contents inside this directory into this folder. I've already done it, so I'm not going to do it. And then uh, there's another file folder uh which one there's another one called uh ini tweaks so there's two folders uh you have to choose between shadow or non-shadow so non-shadow performs better but the graphics are worse and it, it like it says that some some areas they don't have lighting or some so i i use this one shadows it looks better so i just gave up 14 percent performance gain so you just go inside here, same thing, copy all these, the files inside the Starfield directory into the game folder, and then documents, you need to go to my document. So if you have a non-Steam version like me, Starfield, so where do you go to documents? Go back to the Strive C, users, Steam user, uh, documents, my games, Starfield. So here, here's where you put the, this INI file, put it in here. All right. And then the final one, that's the biggest file. It's a four gigabyte file. That's the shader cache, I think it is. So same thing, see this four gigabyte file, 4.1 gigabyte file, same thing. Starfield directory, just copy all these into the game folder. Make sure you bring, put this starfield.ini as well. That's separate. Um, and then you have to delete the shader cache. If you've already played the game, if it's not a fresh install, you have to delete the shader cache. So where's the shader cache? So go back into here, see compact data. Well, go back to start Steam apps, where the compact data folder is. There's also a folder called shader cache. So go inside here, and then same thing, same name, uh, same folder name, 36480. So it would be different for you because this is a random number. Four, six, okay, so here. You need to delete the shader cache, so delete this. Make sure you delete this, and this is only one of them. You've got another shader cache location. So where is, where is it? Go back to Steam Apps, Compact Data, 36480, this one, Prefix, Strive C. So inside here, this is the, uh, this is the game folder, Not we're not going there, we're going to users, Steam user, app data, local, and then there is a Starfield folder. Yeah, here's, here's another shader cache you need to delete. All right, so delete all that, and then you're good to go. You're good to go. Um, make sure you have cryo utilities on as well. So download this if you don't, if you, if you don't have it. So I've got this on recommended settings. So the current swap size is 16 gigabytes and current swappiness is one. And then all these are turned on in the memory and then the VRAM is set to four gigabytes. So that's my settings. So yeah, hope this helped you out. If it did, please leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.